What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today we're going to be taking a look at the 2020 Spyderco Reveal Volume 6 catalog. Um, I was just now made aware of this by the fact that uh, Slicey Dicey and Nick Shabazz did this and I was so excited but they, they're they smarter and faster than I am. But I still want to look through this. I intentionally did not watch theirs because I this is something that's interesting to me and I know that you guys will find this interesting as well. I've only done this one other time, and it was really fun to do it last time, just organically flip through it. The only thing that I have seen so far is this page. Um, so uh, it'll be fun to flip through this. There will be links for Spyderco Knives, as usual, down in the description that you can actually buy right now. But everything that you're going to see right now is stuff that is going to come out. So, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get into this. Patreon link down in the description. Your support would mean the world to me. And please follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Okay. Ah, welcome to Spider Coat Reveal Volume 6. We have the Pacific Salt 2 Green in LC200N and the Atlantic Salt Green in LC200N. Um, that's, uh, anything that's LC200N is welcome, absolutely. It looks like this is the Pacific Salt in Green in LC200N. It looks like um, that's going to be the case there. Um, some inf interesting information here. It says, uh, due to the far-reaching effects of the current pandemic. Uh, 2020 has been an extremely challenging year for everyone. In addition to maintain our primary focus on the health and welfare of our, of our staff members and their families, we've concentrated on adapting to the world's rapidly changing business landscape. Despite travel restrictions and social distancing, we have strengthened our relationships, relationships with our global manufacturing partners. Although trade shows and business trips have been canceled, we continue to work closely with our dealers, distributors, and customers who serve their needs and support their goals. Above all, we have redoubled our efforts to do what we do best, redefining the limits of high-performance production knives, sharpeners, and accessories, uh, and backing those products with the best customer service in the industry. We are proud to reveal the results of our latest efforts with these pages. All right, great. Let's go ahead and see what else is there. I know you guys could have read that for yourselves, but I wanted to read it for myself. All right, the Indela in K390, 2.99 inches on the edge length. What is the what is the difference between the Indela and the Endura? I don't know. Is that a thing? Am I not am I stupid? Am I not aware of what? I'm sure people are going, "Yeah, you're dumb." <laughs> Backlog K3. I'm on board for K390. I've been using that little ladybug that's on my um, keychain for a long time. That edge has shrugged off everything that I have thrown at it. I am intentionally not cleaning that knife, not stropping it, not doing anything. I am using it and putting it right back in. I want to see how well that stuff holds up over like a six month, six month period. And so far, I did that video a long time ago. So far, that thing is an absolute beast. K390. So far, I'm on board with that stuff. Police 4 and K390, I'm sure that'll be a popular model too. Delica 4, lightweight pink in S30V. Okay, are we moving to S30V for the Delica? Yeah, I don't, uh, some people like the pink. I'm not into the pink, but I'm, I'm on board with moving to S30V. Let's keep that, um, let's hopefully keep that price. <laughs> let's keep that price around the Benchmade Griptilian territory and not do a bump. That'll be, uh, that'll be great. Okay, the tenacious lightweight blue in CPM S35VN. Yes, I will be uh, buying that one. <laughs> Absolutely. That's awesome. S35VN. Interesting. Very, very cool. All right. Well, the, the tenacious is awesome. If you don't know, the tenacious is awesome. But we've all had to deal with ATR 13 MOV, which truthfully is fine. Uh, but uh, today's uh, today's knife world does not demand fine. We demand the newest, best, craziest thing. And while S35VN and the Tenacious are not new and or the best, the combination of the two is something that is new and uh, will probably be very welcome. I'm hoping this hits the... Oh, God. This is probably wishful thinking. I'm hoping we don't cross over the $70 mark. I, I'll, I'll be happy if that's the peak, but I don't know. Maybe it'll be less. It'll probably be more. But I hope that I'm wrong. The man bug in, what is this? The man bug in Warncliffe. Okay, so that's the different element there. What's the steel? VG10? Okay, well, they're little. The man bug in all black. Okay, also interesting. Lots of FRN so far. Uh, what is this? The honeybee, the bug, and the grasshopper in all blackout. Okay, that's interesting. Um, these are using, oh, what are these using? Are they... Are they VG10? Are they 440C? I don't know what these are. Are they not? Did they not mention it? 
That's kind of neat. I had one of these on my keychain, the bug, forever. It did all right. It's super small, super compact, super lightweight. Uh, I changed to the, uh, the ladybug because it was locking and it was still lightweight and it was K390. This did just fine. Um, it's pretty expensive for as tiny as an iPhone as it is. The black is cool. Being on your keychain, it'll definitely scratch up and wear off. But maybe, maybe you like that. I don't know. Kind of neat. Alrighty, the Sage One, cool gray in Maximate. Cool gray. What? What does it? Oh, oh, this is G10. Yeah, yeah, that's a good move. Definitely. That's a that that the Sage uh, is definitely a, a model that a lot of people like. And you know what? Truthfully, I've never handled one on the channel. I don't think I've ever handled a Sage. I know people are like unsubscribe, unsubscribed. He's never handled a Sage. I know. Blasphemy. It looks cool though. Um, Taiwan made Spider Co. in Maximits. Yeah, yeah, I like them expanding Maximit. Maximit's on my pair of three. I do use Maximit a lot, and I really like Maximit. Supposedly, it's gonna have better uh, edge retention than even K390. Um, not looking forward to sharpening it, but the gray in the Maximit thing is that's a cool look. That's a nice looking little EDC liner lock. Very cool. Chaparral in. Bird's eye maple. I don't really care about wood. Some of you guys do. CTSX HP is great, which we saw. Wish we saw more of that. Patades, patades, patadisi. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, this one's made in Italy. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen that one before. M390 G10. Nice, classy-looking knife. Doesn't look like they made a cutout on the other side for the reverse flick, but maybe that's not necessarily their number one in, in you know goal there is to make that accessible. But all right, it's kind of weird. Um, okay, moving on. Uh, whoa. Okay, restricted knives. Notice the black and red. <laughs> so we've reached the tactical section of um, the Spider Coast. <laughs> they got a Balasong too. Oh my gosh. The Autonomy 2. Uh, I've never handled the Autonomy. Is this an automatic knife? Yeah, automatic knives are federally restricted items. Sale, blah, blah, blah. Okay, it's automatic. It's a U.S. Spider Co. Uh, closed is about 5 inches. Weight is 5.6 ounces. LC200N in an automatic knife. Fully flat ground blade. Um, pretty cool. It looks like maybe there's a safety on there. Um, yeah, an automatic LC200, is there another, is there an automatic spider code that's an L, I'm sorry, is there an automatic knife in existence using LC200N? This might be the first one. Um, blade length is 3.5 inches, what's overall, 8.5 inches. I think that'll be an automatic that'll speak to a lot of people. It kind of has tenacious lines, uh, but it's an auto. It's got the typical spider code clip with the three screws and the lanyard hole in the middle that's fine pivot on the other side is interesting um yeah okay i that's uh, definitely something i want to take a look at the small fly too i didn't know that spider code did a balisong did they make a small fly that was a balisong I, I didn't know that okay um what is the uh oh it's s30v all right okay not super interested in that one balisong people might be is this um yeah this is usa made as well okay pretty cool Moving on here, CBN Benchstone. Um, all right, you've got the nylon pouches. For, I've got a couple of these over to the right. They're nice. You know, they're pouches, but they're nice. If you want to keep your Spyderco knives safe and in a pouch, which a lot of the knives that are my own, I actually keep them out of the display case and in pouches because I don't want them falling off and hitting the concrete or whatever uh, if I'm moving around down here. So, um, yeah, that's cool. Uh, there you go. I think... I think I've seen these on retail sites or similar ones for 15, 16 bucks. Yeah, Mule Team Sprint Roll. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, there's the Mule Team in S45VN. Okay, that'll be interesting to a lot of people just because it is S45VN and not S35VN. You can read about S45VN on Knife Steel Nerds. I would suggest you do that and check out Knife Steel, Ner Knife Steel Nerds. Knife Steel Nerds. Oh my God. Gosh, what is wrong with me? Knife steel nerds in general. Wonderful information. Look at this PM2. Wowzer. CPM Spy 27. It'll be popular just for that reason. But, I mean, this... that I've never seen a PM2 that looks exactly like that. That'll... That, <laughs> CPM Spy 27 sprint run with a lot of stuff going on there. Um... Yeah. Terminal 2 Sprint was available for purchase exclusively at Spiderco.com and the Spiderco Factory Outlet Store. 
exclusively at spiderco.com. Interesting. Okay. I know people have widely varying opinions on sprint runs. Spy 27, I think they know what they're doing. We know what they're doing. It's, yeah, I I can't deny that it, it is something that I like to look at, though. So I'll keep that one in mind. The Spiderco by VanQuest Envoy 17 Messenger Bag. Spiderco by VanQuest, well, 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 exclusive. Probably. Okay, so this is another sprint. It's a bag. All right, cool. I want to read all this. Spiderco is extremely proud of our Colorado uh, heritage. To celebrate that pride, we created a unique sprint run, expression of the paramilitary two, that allows us to show our Colorado colors in a distinctive way. Okay, that explains the C. I didn't pick up on that. Um, bleh, it features a full flat ground, plain edge blade. Sorry, it's small blade crafted from. <laughs> it features a full flat ground, plain edge blade crafted from Spider Co's proprietary CPM Spy Twenty Seven stainless steel. Both sides are beautifully laser engraved with the f uh, flowing American flag images, and the blade is paired with G10 skills printed with uh, the Colorado State flag logo. This limited edition knife will only be sold consumer direct at the Spiderco factory outlet store or through spiderco.com. So pay attention to that if you want that. It will undoubtedly go quickly. And that is the end of the catalog. Some interesting stuff in there, some less interesting stuff. In any case, this was really fun to do. I will likely make a habit of taking a look at this Spiderco catalog every time it releases because it's fun. I'm a Spiderco fan. A lot of the people watching my channel are uh, Spiderco fans, and it's always fun to see what else is uh, coming out. There's there's a few in there that I'm definitely definitely interested in. Uh, the auto I think is really that's the standout one for me right now. I not necessarily that I'd browse and just like if it didn't have Spiderco on it, you know. Admittedly, if it didn't say Spiderco and it wasn't an LC 200N, I'd probably be like meh. But the fact that it's a Spiderco Auto and it's LC 200N, yeah, I I really do want to take a look at that. So, anyways, guys, I hope this was at least mildly entertaining to you. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do of course have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.